So this question says, if 4x minus 28 equals negative 24, what is the value of x minus 7? Okay, so uh, this is definitely a simplified question, first and foremost. Simplified questions are typically very short, somewhere between one and three lines long, and will contain either an equation or an expression. In this case, we get both, right? We have the equation first, and then our question is an actual expression. There's a couple of ways to solve this. The most obvious, maybe immediate way would be to take the equation that's been provided and to solve for x. So to solve for x, I'd add 28 to both sides here. I'd end up with 4x is equal to 4. Negative 24 plus 28 is 4. I can then divide both sides here by 4. And I'd have x is equal to 1. Thankfully, I don't see 1 as an option here because a lot of students make a mistake there and just think that, you know, after doing this work, they must be done. But the question asks uh, very obviously and very clearly for x minus 7. So what I really want is 1 minus 7, which is negative 6, and therefore choice C is the correct answer. Now, another way to do this, another way to solve this, just takes a little bit of, little bit of insight and probably a bunch of practice on, this, on the SAT generally because this happens frequently enough to look for it. Um, so here's what, I'm, here's what I'm leading to. So I have this equation, 4x minus 28 equals negative 24. I know that I'm trying to solve for x minus 7. I look here a little bit more carefully, 4x minus 28. Well, if I were to divide this by 4, right, which of course means I have to divide the other side by 4, 4x minus 28 divided by 4 is in fact x minus 7 right? Because 4 goes into 4 once, and 4 goes into negative 28 7 times. So I would have x minus 7 there, and then this is equals, equals negative 6, and that way I get to my answer directly, right? So without having to solve for x first and then subtract 7, I just directly solve for x minus 7. Neither one of those is better than the other. Um, it really is all about whatever makes sense to you, and now that you've seen that second way, maybe it pops out as an option to you in the future, which is always valuable. Um, but either way, our answer here is negative 6.